Now let's take a moment to reflect on this powerful truth. The fact that we have a heavenly father who is the creator and sustainer of all heaven and earth, who is always by our side, guiding us and leading us toward greatness, who loves us. Yet how often do we ignore his voice? How often do we let our own doubts and fears drown out his voice? Our own needs, desires, and goals drown out his voice. We forget that he is always there ready to lift us up and help us. And we forget that without his help, oftentimes we really fail, even in the appearance of us having victory. Because anything obtained outside of the will of God for our lives, our purpose, and our destiny is really not victory. And you know, the thing is, it doesn't have to be this way. We can choose to listen and trust the voice of God. We can choose to have faith and let him guide us. And when we do, amazing things start to happen. Listen, I I, I want to encourage you today to take a moment and reflect on your own journey with hearing the voice of God. Are there any roadblocks that may be hindering you? And if the answer is yes, I urge you to take action to start working towards overcoming them. See, when we come to a quiet place and we prepare ourselves to hear, When we rest from the busyness and turn off the noise, we enter into a holy place. So I encourage you to delight in his voice. When you hear his voice, act on what he tells you. This also helps his voice to be amplified more and more. Now, while we cannot be sure that everything in our quiet times is from God, We can be assured that God is waiting for us to shut off our noise long enough to hear him. 